All right, gather around everyone, because I've got a story that's going to make you rethink how you look at things. It's all about the law of reverse thinking, a concept that challenges conventional thought patterns, encourages us to explore the opposite of what we usually believe. Just as a mirror can reveal hidden facets of an object, reverse thinking uncovers layers of insight that might have remained hidden. This approach, often utilized in various philosophical teachings, reminds us that by turning our mental lenses around, we can uncover unexpected treasures and navigate life's challenges with newfound clarity and creativity. And we're diving into the wisdom of both Buddha and the teachings of Zen. So, let's begin. Once upon a time in a serene village nestled between lush mountains, there lived a young man named Kochi. Now, Kochi was known for his quick temper and stubborn ways. He often found himself in conflicts with his friends, family, and even strangers. He was tired of the constant turmoil in his life and decided it was time for a change. One day, while Kochi was taking a walk near a tranquil river, he came across an old man who seemed to radiate an air of tranquility. This old man was none other than a wise monk who had spent years studying under both Buddha and the teachings of Zen. Kochi, curious and intrigued, approached the monk and shared his struggles. The monk listened patiently to Kochi's woes and then said, My young friend, have you ever heard of the law of reverse thinking? Kochi shook his head and said, No master, I never heard about it. The monk began to explain, You see, we often approach life with a fixed mindset, expecting things to go a certain way. But what if we try thinking in reverse? What if we consider the opposite of what we usually believe? This way, we open ourselves to new perspectives and solutions. Koji was puzzled and said, I don't understand what is the reverse thinking. And how does that help? The monk smiled, yes it is helpful, but first, you have to know about it. Let me share two tales, one from Buddha and one from Zen, to illustrate the power of reverse thinking. The monk began with Buddha's story. In the days of Buddha, there was a young disciple named Ananda. He was eager to attain enlightenment but struggled to focus during meditation. He felt that his restless mind was a hindrance. Buddha, with his profound wisdom, advised Ananda to meditate on the chaos itself. Instead of fighting the restlessness, he asked Ananda to accept it and observe it closely. Ananda followed Buddha's advice and soon found that by accepting his mind's nature, he achieved a state of calm and clarity he had never experienced before. Koji was fascinated. So, by thinking in reverse, Ananda found peace within chaos. The monk nodded. Exactly. Think of it as solving a puzzle in reverse, the pieces that seemed perplexing suddenly fall into place, presenting a clear and unexpected picture that brings a sense of clarity and accomplishment. Now, I will tell you a Zen tale that amplifies this idea. In a Zen monastery, there was a wise monk named Hiroshi. He was eager to prove himself and often engaged in debates with his fellow monks. One day, the head monk assigned Hiroshi a task that seemed contrary to his expectations. He asked Hiroshi to stand in a noisy marketplace and listen to the cacophony without judgment. At first, Hiroshi was perplexed, but he obeyed. As he stood amidst the chaos, Hiroshi began to embrace the sounds rather than resist them. This act of reverse thinking transformed his perception. He realized that the noise was just another aspect of life, and he could find peace even amidst the uproar. Koji's eyes widened. So, Hiroshi found serenity in the middle of noise? The monk smiled warmly. Indeed, young friend. These stories teach us that by flipping our perspectives, we can discover hidden treasures of insight and peace. Much like peeling the layers of an onion, reverse thinking allows us to strip away preconceived notions, revealing the core essence of a problem, which can then be examined and resolved from a completely different angle. Now Koji knows the psychology of reverse thinking. The true power of reverse thinking. 
takes us behind the scenes of our thoughts, revealing the mechanisms that drive our assumptions and beliefs. Koji felt a newfound energy within him. He thanked the monk and decided to implement this law of reverse thinking in his life. He started approaching conflicts with curiosity, seeking to understand the opposite viewpoint. He began to embrace challenges, recognizing the potential for growth within them. And slowly but surely, Koji's temper began to subside, replaced by a sense of calm and wisdom. And so, my friends, let Koji's journey remind us that life's twists and turns can become our allies when we learn to reverse our thinking. Just as Buddha and Zen teachings illuminated, by looking at things from a different angle, we can unlock a world of insight, transformation, and serenity that we might have never thought possible. Remember, just as turning a map upside down can reveal unexplored routes, embracing reverse thinking can lead to discoveries, innovation, and personal growth that expand the horizons of your mind.